everybody! Welcome to the Knitted Kitchen Blog Hop. I'm Pia with Stitches and Scraps, and today we're working on pattern number 33, which is the Star Stitch washcloth. I'll be using Lion Brand 24-7 cotton, which they were nice enough to send me for this pattern, and the color I'm using is Goldenrod. So you can see I've started some of the square. I've got the seed stitch border that we do on all of these squares, or all of mine at least. And then inside I've got the star stitch pattern going. And it's, it's a really pretty pattern that gives these diagonal lines, but really they're just staggered star stitches. So it's a four stitch, four row repeat. It's actually very similar to the Trinity stitch that we did last time. If you remember with the Trinity stitch, we increased in one stitch and then decreased in the next stitch. In this one, we're kind of doing a decrease and increase all at the same time, and you'll see how that works. Let me show you. So for this stitch, all of the pattern work is actually done on the wrong side rows, and we're on a wrong side row now. I've started with my seed stitch border, which was just slip, knit, purl, knit, and I'm ready to start the star stitch section. So it's all pearls, and it starts with just a pearl, just one pearl at the edge. And now we get to do a star stitch. And what the star stitch does, it starts out as, as a decrease. Remember I said it decreases and then increases? It starts out as a decrease, so we're going to purl these three stitches together. Okay, now don't take these off the needle yet. We've got the three purl together, now you're going to do a yarn over. Okay, it's going over the top and then back around. All right, so now I've got the purl three together, the yarn over, and now I'm going to purl these three together again. This is where you wanna be really careful about tension because it's very easy to pull that yarn over too tight. So now you can see I've got three stitches on my, on my needle because I did a purl three together, which was a decrease, but then I increased it again by doing the yarn over and another purl three together. So now I'm ready to slip these off of the left needle, and that is my star stitch. Let's try that again. In between, we're just gonna have regular purls, so star stitch, purl, star stitch, purl, that's basically the pattern. So star stitch, purl, now let's do another star stitch. Go into the next three stitches, Purl them all together. Okay, I like to leave a little extra room in this part of the stitch because I tend to use it up in later parts. You'll find what works for you as far as tension. Um, okay, so now we're going to do a yarn over. So I've got the first two parts of the stitch done. And then another purl three together right into those same three stitches. And there's another star stitch. One more time. Purl, purl three together, do not remove them from the needle, yarn over, and purl the same three together again. It went a little bit faster that time. And you do start to get the hang of it after a while and, and it does go a little faster. So purl, Purl three together, yarn over, purl three together, watch your tension, make sure they're kind of even, and slide it off the needle. So I'm going to complete this row this way, and then on the right side row we're just going to knit. The wrong side row is completed and I ended with my seed stitch border and I'm going to start the right side row which is very easy. It's basically just knitting across. So we're starting with the seed stitch which is knit, purl, and knit. Well slip, knit, purl, and knit. Okay, now I'm to my pattern and you can see how we edged it with one uh, purl stitch on the other side so you get this nice line of knit stitches on this side. So we're knitting that, and here is the first star stitch. Now when you knit into this, you want to be careful to separate these and try and get them looking nice, like even in tension. If, when you're first starting out, you're going to have them a little bit uneven. So it's good to just poke at them a little bit and let them even out before you knit into them. So one, two, three. 
And this is a good way to make sure you did the other side correctly because you should have three in each little cluster like that. So you can see we decreased it and then increased it back out again all in the same stitch and we're left with three stitches again. So I'm going to continue this row in just knit stitches. And again, separating out those three, be careful not to split your yarns and try to get them nice and even. And just knit across, do the, the seed stitch border like we normally do, and then we'll be ready for the next wrong side row. Okay, we're back on the wrong side row and I've done the border again. Now, we want the seed stitches to be staggered. You see how they don't line up perfectly? So in order to do that, we can't start at the same spot we started last time. We have to set it in a couple more stitches. So we're going to purl. Instead of purling one, we're going to actually purl three stitches to get started. Remember, it's a four stitch repeat and we want to get halfway in, so we're doing an extra two stitches. Now when we do the star, you'll see it's picking up the last part of this star, the first part of this star, and that one stitch in the middle, which is perfect. That'll give us a nice staggered look. So let's do the star again. Go under three stitches. Three, not four. There we go. Purl. Yarn over. And purl. Okay, one more time. Well, first we do a purl stitch in between, and then one more time. Under three, purl, yarn over, and purl. And that's it. We go across to the end, and again, because we're staggering it, we're going to have three stitches left over at the end of this row instead of one, and then our seed stitch border. And the right side rows are just knit like we did before. So it's a very simple four stitch, four row repeat. The hardest part is getting these loops even on the star stitch. If you can do that, you can nail the star stitch. Um, so that's it for this one, and I will see you again next time for another fun square.